President Biden still pushing to get his infrastructure bill through Congress despite Republican pushback. Want to get to our Washington correspondent Basil John joining us live here. Basil, uh, Republicans say the president just needs to be realistic at this point. Good morning, guys. And yes, Republicans have criticized the president's plans, calling them radical. And they say that he should focus on cooperating with Republicans, not alienating them. After President Biden's joint address to Congress, Republicans say they can't back the president's two massive spending plans. When I look at this, this is a staggering amount of spending like someone with a new credit card. On ABC's This Week, Wyoming Senator John Barrasso says traditional infrastructure is the way to go, not free child care and community college. Americans understand that with this kind of spending and this kind of borrowing and taxing, everyone is going to get hit in their wallet. Infrastructure has always been bipartisan. Ohio Senator Rob Portman told NBC's Meet the Press the Biden administration needs to work with Republicans or else the plan will fail. I think we can come up with a, a good bill that's bipartisan and one that actually will sur survive over time because it'll be more sustainable with Republican and Democrat support. However, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen said the president is focused on his plans. He has made clear that he believes that permanent increases in spending should be paid for, and I agree. Yellen pushed back against Republicans' criticism and says this is all for long-term benefits. There will be a big return. I expect productivity to rise. Now, the president proposes spend about $4.5 trillion on infrastructure and social programs combined. Reporting live in Washington, I'm Basil John. Basil, I want to ask you a quick question here. Is it possible that both sides could reconcile to get this bill passed? Well, reconciliation is definitely a path, but the issue with that is two things. One, you already have some Democrats, like Senator Joe Manchin, who has been very outspoken, saying Democrats should not attempt it, and he will not support the idea of reconciliation. The other problem is that this isn't like the coronavirus relief bill, where it is spending that would immediately be done in order to take care of the pandemic that's going on within this year. Uh, this bill, the infrastructure bill, and even the family plan bill, looks out in the long term, looks at five and 10 years ahead, so there is a possibility that that two, three years from now, if the Senate were to get, uh, Republicans were able to get control of the Senate, they could introduce a bill that would undo the effects of this bill, and then it would just turn into a constant cycle, which is why bipartisanship is the ideal pathway to go. All right, we'll just have to wait and see. A lot of waiting. Basil, thank you.